Welcome back to Inside Drag Racing as we continue our coverage here of the PRI show from Orlando, Florida. Right now, Jason has come over from CSR to show us some new products because that's what we do at the PRI show every year is talk about new products. Jason, what have you brought for us? Ted, what we've brought here today, we've got two products, but the first product is our new 24 volt smart start switch. Um, we do do as a package with a true 24 volt starter. Um, the luxury of this switch is, is it converts the starter, two 12 volt batteries converts the starter off to 24 to the starter motor only. For so you, you make a 24 volt starter? Yes sir we do. Yes sir we What's do. the advantage? Why do you want to do well, that? The big advantage is, is your bigger cubic inch or your injected alcohol motors to get everything started without flex plate breakage is what we've accomplished here. All right, show us some of the contacts and everything you have on there. What we have here is, is this will be your 24 volt to your starter motor only, 12 volt in here, 12 volt in here for okay. off your batteries. You can charge through this switch with the alternator or your conventional 12 volt battery charger. It doesn't take special batteries to do this. Okay, you run a common ground then. Yes, you tie sir. the grounds all together. Yes, sir. And you were talking about spinning the flywheel or the flex plate. Let's talk about what else you brought over here. Um, that thing is very novel. What we've got here is our new aluminum bolt-on ring gear flex plate, which only weighs five pounds. Um, new product for us for the show. We also are doing it in steel also with a bolt-on ring gear. Did it both ways, do a lightweight and a little heavier weight. That's that's uh, billet aluminum? Yes, it is. 6061 traditional Chevy 168 tooth ring gear on it. And I see it's SFI approved. Yes, it is SFI 29-1. Yes, sir. Boy, that's really neat. See, that's mm -hmm. American ingenuity, and that's what drag racers and people like CSR do. Now, out on the floor is Doc Riley. He's found more. At the PRI show, you'll find lots of innovation. One of the neat things is you'll find all kinds of great tools. Working on valve screen, well, Brad here has got himself a pretty nice little trick device. Brad, first of all, tell me about this, uh, this nice little unit. Uh, it's basically just an on-head valve spring compressor. Uh, we tried to make a universal tool. Um, takes same universal tool, just take different base adapters for different engine applications. Uh, it's adjustable in one degree increments. As far as the top end of its ball screw design, generates 800 pounds of linear force with 200 or two pounds of rotating torque. All right, now we get to some test equipment. What do you got here? Uh, valve spring bench testers. And basically just for checking valve springs, checking installed height, checking pressure. Okay, this is a tool, but what about the accuracy of a tool? I mean, very anyone accurate. can kind of do that, that that type of situation. How important is accuracy very, when you're looking at something? Very important, very important today. Is that one of the things you kind of looked at to make sure that you've got it? Do I have to calibrate, gauge that or anything else? Yeah. Do I have to take care of it? What do I have to do? Just it, it work right out of the box? Works right out of the box, just like it should. Just like it should. What else you got? Uh, basically, we got a digital version of the on-head or the bench tester, and we've got a mechanical version, and we also have a new PC version. Uh, basically interfaces with the PC where you can record batches of springs, compare batches of springs, uh, different spring rates, or compare spring rates actually. One of the biggest problems you're going to have is accuracy in gauges. Now Buxton Engineering has taken care of that with a very accurate, very durable gauge and it's all due to one guy, that guy right there, Brad Buxton. The ARP Quarter Mile Quiz with Butch McCall offers you a chance to win a quarter mile quiz sweatshirt while testing your knowledge of drag racing. Brought to you by ARP, the world leader in racing fastener technology. Quarter mile quiz. Tony Rumpel of Fort Wayne, Indiana was kind enough to email this week's ARP Quarter Mile Quiz question. And that question is, he wants to know if there's an octane limit to the fuel used in Pro Stock. Well, when I come back, I'm going to go ask WJ, six-time NHRA world champion. He couldn't help me with the answer.